Okay, streamers, if editing is draining you, this cap cut trick will save your life. I used to honestly spend so much time editing. Like it's the it's the one thing that I genuinely do not enjoy. And it's crazy trying to have a YouTube channel and hate editing and also not have an editor like it's one of those things that go hand in hand with one another and i have absolutely hated it but this is a, there's a new cap cut feature i know it's not auto cut or it's not something like that they'll leave it up to chance to try to like get your videos not using any of those like type of ai feature it sped up my editing so fast to the point where i think i can actually now commit to series and actually edit a lot of my vods down to create valuable content and it takes me like no time to get it done anyway my name is mila vanderbilt welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here ever welcome for the first time Time. I do a lot of content around one gaming, but also I'm trying to transition more into creating content about streaming because I've learned so much over the past few years and I just have a passion for like spitting out all the things that I learned. I want to just be able to just drop really quick videos here showing you guys cool things that I've discovered that have made my life easier as a streamer. But one thing I always recommend to streamers is to have a presence on YouTube. And I know that can be a very daunting task, especially if you're spending a lot of time streaming and on camera or doing whatever it is that you stream you don't have a lot of time to edit so a lot of people just put up their full vods which does work i've tried that out sometimes but for me personally i do like having kind of smaller curated series where my content feels a little bit more intentional than my stream sometimes so i like to just have things that are edited but i hate editing so I have to show you this feature. It is kind of new. I know it's been out for the past couple of versions of CapCut and I started using it back in April, but then I traveled and things got held up. So I'm only just really getting into it now, but I want to show you what it is. So I've been editing. I primarily, when I started my YouTube channel, I was using Premiere Pro to edit. And I do still like a lot of features of Premiere Pro. So I sometimes use that for some of like those cleaner edits that I want to use, but CapCut has just made things so easy. So this is the one thing I'm like, I don't want TikTok to go away because CapCut is by the same company. If you ban and TikTok, you're getting rid of CapCut and I need it. I also know I think CapCut recently increased its price. I do have Pro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what I'm paying for it. But $179.99 feels fair. Yearly, that feels fair to me. I don't know. And a lot of these features that I'm showing are gonna be Pro, or the main feature I'm showing is Pro. I'm gonna just upload a video really quick. I don't know what, oh, hold on, I got questionable things happening. Ciao, why, why do I do these things myself? Hold on. So one, in general, I do prefer editing and CapCut. Even something as small as making something one button versus is needing to click twice is a huge lifesaver for me. So the first thing that always attracted me about CapCut, right here, you have a transcript button. Let me just make it real big real quick. <laughs> okay, so right here, you have this transcript button. We see it, I'm gonna go ahead and click it. So that is going to automatically start transcribing your video. I picked the shortest video known to man. It already transcribed my video. <laughs> the thing that I like about this is one, so one, I don't know how long it can do. I noticed if I put my full VOD in here, like I put a, let me just put a full VOD. I'm bugging. So I'm gonna put this in. This is a two hour, 28 minute VOD. You're okay. So you do have to make sure that your clips are under two hours, but that is fine. All you gotta do is chop that clip where you want it. So I'm just gonna go like a little bit before the two hour mark. You'll just have to do each piece separate, but you could have your full if you have like a 10 hour stream here cut it up in two hour sections and it'll transcribe it's gonna t girl what, what was going on with us here <laughs> it's gonna take a lot longer to transcribe a longer video so if you don't need to edit the full thing say you just want to edit a, a certain portion first do that because the transcription i mean it doesn't take too long it's automatically transcribing so it's using some sort of ai tool i'm gonna go ahead and click that like you'll see the percentage it's it's currently loading up okay so this is currently transcribing this the smaller clip is what like 20 28, 29 minutes, and it's taking a little bit of time. It's only take, it hasn't even been a full minute yet. It's at like 72%. So this is going to transcribe your whole thing. So the thing we're getting into is editing from transcript. So if you don't mind like jump cuts or, I mean, even if you do, for me personally, I, a lot of these gameplay videos like this, I like them to like be very fast paced. So I tend to make them very quick edits. Like I take out long pauses. I take out all types of things. So once you're all finished here, this whole thing on the left is your transcript script granted a lot of times it'll miss here or it won't really understand what you've said and it'll get words wrong but this is about 30 minutes of transcript right here and you'll notice what you're seeing so you'll see exactly what you say and then you'll also see these empty these empty spots so a couple of things that i like to do is i personally get rid of all of the dead space or the silent moments because one a lot of these are long streams what well, they might be short and quick like this but like i like my videos these gameplay videos to be very fast paced so i don't mind removing all of those so i tend to go through and just remove all of them i'll you can also search for like um or different filler words that you say a lot sometimes i'm as 
tricky to find. Oh wait, there's like one. You can also look for things that you remember saying that you might want to remove from a stream. So even if it's like be right back or something, like here it is, like be right back. If you wanted to remove your BRB screens, but one thing that's super easy is it's you can read faster than you can watch a video. I, I'm sure of it. A lot of times when I was editing, I would be watching the video and figuring out what I want to remove. Here, I'm just going based on what I'm saying. So like, if you don't mind, and like you can go back and watch it. I don't know. I should I should have pulled up a video where I actually edited, but I would go through this. So I would just like start reading it. And honestly, if you, you're doing this kind of close to stream, you'll remember these moments. You'll remember what you want to keep in. I went back and edited a stream from two months ago. Like I remembered enough to know what parts really I didn't care about. And you can like do this and edit or you can like edit things out of here, go back and watch like the pace and see if you're liking how it's coming together. But this, I, I, t I kid you not, it would take me like eight hours to edit a video sometimes. And that would end up being maybe a 30 minute video taking me eight hours of work editing. Now that same type of video that used to take me eight hours, I did one yesterday in the middle of the day in like an hour, maybe maybe an hour and a half for a 34 minute video. I'm okay with removing these dead silences. So I think like play around with it and figure out what your style is and see how you can edit from transcripts who match that style is the big game changer. I'm obsessed with this. Like I'm just gonna go through and like make some of these cuts so you can see. And sometimes like you have to be a little careful because it can like chop off part of the word. So if I say anything that looks like a blended word, I tend to annoy or avoid making that cut, but you can do it two ways. You can click on exactly what you wanna delete and hit delete or you could just click and hit backspace on your keyboard. You can delete both dead spaces and you can also just like take out a word. Like let's, I'm gonna delete this because we didn't use that part anyway. So say I wanted to cut out everything and take out all these like little spaces that I have in here. A lot of them are very short, but like I kind of like that vibe for gameplay videos. Where am I meant to be right now? Oh, I picked what the worst. These? What is this? All right, let's go, Andrew. Oh, this outfit, that's not what I was thinking. This is currently a 35 minute video. If I wanted to edit this down to, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, like you would just literally be able to go to whatever words you wanna trim out. Another thing that I tend to do sometimes is I will put my captions into ChatGPT from a video and ask it like, I'm trying to edit this video, what areas, where can I slim things out? It'll highlight things for me to remove or give me exact sentences to remove. So what you could do is you could copy and paste this whole transcript, paste it in ChatGPT, say like what can I remove from this I want this is currently 35 minutes I want to get it down to 10 minutes what do you recommend that I delete it'll and tell it to give you exact lines like make it that prompt and tell it to give you the exact lines to delete you take those lines from ChatGPT, search it at the top of this transcript it'll give you the exact line you can remove the whole thing let me copy everything so I'm just gonna copy this whole transcript and you can either paste the uh transcript right into chat chat gpt or you could put it like in a, a notepad or whatever document and upload it chat gpt is already on it okay so it says cut these low value or off topic filler so i'm literally gonna copy and paste if you really if you really wanted to do this mindless not think about anything you could just take it to vice like if you really needed to get this 30 minute video down to 10 minutes super quick you could copy all the lines that chat gpt is highlighting and see where we get from there okay so i did correct it a little bit because because it wasn't giving me exact phrases. So I just said, are these exact phrases from the transcript? I need them to be exact. I'm editing from transcript. Pull out whatever you need to, to make it a strong video and tell it like exactly how long if you want, or you can just edit from transcript. Again, like I said, typically we can read a lot faster than we could watch a full video. So for me, it's just so easy to go in here and just say, hey, I don't wanna keep any of this stuff. So if you're looking for an alternative to actually like sitting down and editing a bunch and you're not quite as place where you can hire an editor or don't want to hire an editor quite yet. Editing from transcript has saved me a ton of time, so I truly recommend checking it out. But anyway, let me know what you think about that. Let me know if it works for you, if it's helped your editing process, if you've used the tool at all before, if you use it with ChatGPT. The, I've been just trying to find ways to be able to commit to putting some of my gameplay series on YouTube, and that is just such a hard to, thing to do when you're spending most of your free time, especially if you're not doing this full-time. I don't do this full-time. So if I'm spending most of my free time actually streaming, <laughs> it makes it hard to find additional time to edit. So I've uh, dedicated like my Sundays to editing
editing, filming, editing from transcript makes it possible to actually do all of that in one day. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video from transcript right now. And I hope this helps. And if you guys just are getting into streaming, you find streamer tips helpful, let me know. Let me know if you have any specific questions. If I know the answer, I can pop in, do a really quick video. And especially now that I can edit it really quick. So <laughs> let me know what you think about that. And if you found this useful or just enjoy your time over here, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel, Por Favor, and turning notifications on so you know when I have a new release coming out, a new stream, a new premiere. We do a bunch over here. So hope to see you very soon. Bye. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right?